Hello YouTube, this is my review of set 7259, otherwise known as the first LEGO Star Wars Arc Jet. First, we'll go over the minifigures. In this we get three of these guys with the normal black heads. Here we have some back printing. Here's a little overview of the helmet. We we'll also have, I believe this is the R5-D4 unit. It's just a generic astromech droid that comes in a multitude of sets. So you can have a fair bit of them. We have back printing on the head, like most. Now, let's go over the ship. We have three cockpits. This one you have to pull off. And you can fit minifigures inside there. And this one, pull up. Now, I have had a few problems if I pull this and then a piece would break off or something. So that gets a bit annoying. This one pulls up like that. Additionally, you have this little. Um, I forget what they're called. Tri droids, I think. Screens. Now, what we can do is we take our astromech, take them off this little plate, the camera back up, and get him and put him, scroll these up, in here. that down there, right there, bam. You can also fold these up, take that like that, and then also go guys, sit him right up there, lean him backwards, and then that he's in there. Now we're going to get our minifigures out so they can do their job for the Republic. By the way, these are clone pilots. I do not believe we see them in the movies as they were later replaced by minifigures that looked like. This or this, so you can use any one of these for alternatives for those units. Now, so it also has two guns right here on the wing. They have no play features, unlike. Since this is an older set, they don't have any flick, they tend not to have flick fire things. But the engines can rotate like that. And then, if we move all these guys, put the camera out, turn this around, and we can, we can move this little thing. Fold the wings up and down. Should do both, but it's uh, buggy for me per se, because it doesn't seem to work very much. What you can also do is you can pull this mechanic, and it allows. This piece right here, yellow piece, to open, and that will drop any object you put in there. Comes with uh, some little cylinder type pieces. Just drop them in there, then you drop it, 
Bam. Now, the reason I chose this set over the uh, newer model is, I don't have a comparison right now since I guess I chose this over it, is that this one just appears to be a bit larger, I believe. I think it looks a bit better too. Looks a bit more dirty, older, like ships realistically would, especially in the Clone Wars era. Then, hey, these things don't do anything. Also, the reason I chose this is it's much cheaper than the newer one. I think the newer one is about $50, 55 maybe, 60 for the complete thing. And for about the complete thing of this, all minifigures, it's like $40. So, this is definitely one I would highly recommend over. Now, for playability... Mmm, I wouldn't say it's that good, really. There's no flick fire options or anything. Nothing like that. It's very large, and the one, the, the one real, I guess, battle play feature is the little dropping thing. And I don't even know why that's in there. You just drop little Legos onto the ground, and then bam, lost. Also... Like I said, the wing spreading thing doesn't work out too much. Very rarely works. So I would purely get this for army building, which it is really good at, especially if you want to make a city like me, you need to have some navy troopers around there. Especially just since you can put these ships on runways and whatnot. And have like a cool Lego Star Wars airport mock, maybe. Airfield, I guess. And you can have a few of these. Some V-Wings, which I re reviewed. Yeah. I would just generally recommend this set. Not generally recommend it. Just recommend it for army builders. Maybe collectors. Ooh, wow. Everything is really out of focus. Alright, you two. That's all. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.